Here's a quick video that explains how to find the slope of a line when the equation is written in standard form. The way to do this is to solve for y, and then the equation will be written in slope-intercept form, and you'll be able to see what the slope is and also what the intercept is. Solving this equation for y, um, everything except y has to leave this side of the equation, so let's subtract 9x from each side, and we get negative 3y equals negative 9x plus 17. We divide by negative 3, and we have to remember to divide each of the terms by negative 3, and we get y equals negative 9 over negative 3 is 3x. Uh, this is going to be minus 17 thirds. So we can see that the slope of this line is 3 and the y-intercept is negative 17 thirds. Let's take this second equation, 4x plus 11y equals 15. We can subtract 4x from each side and this would leave us 11y equals negative 4x plus 15. We could divide each side by 11, and that would leave y equals negative 4 elevenths x plus 15 elevenths. We can see that the slope is negative 4 elevenths, and the y-intercept is equal to 15 elevenths. Now if we take a general equation in standard form, we can also find the slope and intercept and even come up with a formula. If we subtract ax from each side, we have by equals negative ax plus c. We can, sub, uh, we can divide each side by b and we get y equals negative a over b x plus c over b. We can now see that the slope is negative a over b and the y-intercept is c over b. Now if we go back and look at equations that are similar to the first ones that we had, we can use this formula to find the slope without even solving the equation. So let's take uh, 4x plus 11y equals 15. In this case, the 4 is a, the 11 is b, the 15 is c. And it says here that the slope is negative a over b, so that the slope of this line would be negative 4 over 11, and the slope is c, and the y-intercept rather, is c over b. That's 15 over 11. So we did that all without doing any computation whatsoever. Let's do another one. 9x minus 3y equals 17. In this case, a is 9 b is negative 3 because of the minus sign and c is 17. So we can compute the slope as negative a over b this is negative 9 over negative 3 9 over negative 3 is negative 3 the opposite of negative 3 is 3 so the slope here is 3 and the y-intercept is 17 divided by negative 3 or negative 17 thirds.